What up though, y'all? It's Chris. I appreciate y'all as always for connecting with me. And I'm gonna jump right into the topic because this is one that uh, kind of like popped up and I thought that I should really go in depth on this one. And it's about money. Now I mentioned money before on a different video, but I really want to kind of like get into it a bit more in this one. And uh, what I mean by that is there's certain circumstances where you just have no reason to be broke. You have no excuse to be broke. And that's uh, if you're childless and you got no wife. If you're a grown man and you are childless and wifeless, you have no excuses for why you flat broke. You have nothing stopping you from getting out there grinding, getting them 50, 60 hours a week. Like if you don't got no kids, you don't got no wife, you don't got no pets even, cause a uh, pet, <laughs> I mean, not, not that that would keep you from going to work, but that's just one less responsibility that you have that you would have to spend money on. You have no things going on that would be taxing your pockets. If your only bill is your cell phone bill, you ain't got no damn excuses for why you flat broke. You have no damn excuses for why you are not grinding at least 60 hours a week. You got to get out there and get that paper. You got to get out there and hustle harder. Because uh, while you sitting around doing nothing, and I mean, we we all know that uh, the, the, the past time for guys tends to be video games. Now, it's not like I'll, I'm not a gamer myself. I'm a bit of a casual gamer now, if a gamer at all, because I really don't play them that often. But once upon a time, I did play the games a lot. So I know the games are one of the biggest time wasters ever. Like really, they are one of the biggest time wasters ever. For the hours that I used to put in for playing video games, it didn't do jack shit for me. It didn't help me get in shape. It didn't help me feed my son. It didn't help me to, uh, you know, just become a, a better person overall. It didn't help my, my bank account grow. It didn't do anything for me. It was completely a, a time waster. And when you flat broke, you'll find people don't really respect you. They don't respect you and money isn't everything. So that shouldn't be an indicator of whether they should respect you or not. But I'm going to tell you why they don't respect you when you flat broke, because it's usually an indicator that you're lazy. So even though money itself isn't an indicator of whether people should respect you or not, it is an indicator of whether you're lazy or not. The level of lazy that you are, because if you a hustler, if you out here trying to get that bag, you not sitting around playing no video games. You not sitting around talking about, oh, you know, let's go, let's let's hang out or whatever. You don't have time to hang out when you're trying to put a dent in the universe. You don't have time to hang out when you're trying to improve your life. You don't have time to hang out when you have goals, when you have ambitions, when you see yourself in a certain place and you want to reach it. You don't have time for that. And the only way you are going to reach this position is if you hustle harder and grind longer and you can't do that if you sitting around so why i think that at no age does a man have an excuse for being dead broke you have no excuse i can see your ends being tighter if you got financial responsibilities if you got kids i can see your ends being tighter but not flat out broke if you got a wife i can see your ends being tighter if you're taking care of her but not dead broke but if you are a man that's flat broke and you have none of those responsibilities, you are messing up on a colossal level and you need a course correct. You need a course correct to happen for you right now because that's totally unacceptable. And the reason why I'm telling you is because it seems like at this point in your life, no one else really has. And if they have, you haven't listened to them. So. Maybe you'll listen to me. Who knows? Maybe you won't listen to me. But at least I told you. At least I made the effort to try to tell you. I'm telling you these things because I've been there. So whenever I'm telling you these sorts of things, whenever I'm sharing these sorts of stories, it's because I've been there myself. I've experienced. I'm never really going to give you advice on something that I have no experience with because then it's not genuine. I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about if I'm just sitting up here talking about something that I have no experience with talking about things that I haven't done, places I haven't been, that's fake. And I'm not gonna give y'all fake because I don't want fake. So I'm not gonna give y'all something that I don't want. I don't want fake, so I'm not gonna serve y'all up fake. But you know, 
You can't be lazy. You can't be a grown man and be lazy. For y'all that are like 18, 19, 20, 21, man, get off that couch, get your butt outside and make some crap happen for yourself. That working 20, 30 hours a week, that shit is not going to cut it. It don't cut it. It's never going to cut it. I mean, more than ever, that working part-time stuff, it doesn't work. You know, we, we talk about inflation and all that. And of course, I'm not going to get political on y'all or whatever. I'm just talking about what is. We see inflation is what it is for whatever reason. We see them gas prices is whatever they are for whatever reason. So if we even just X politics out aside, just look at what the cost of things are. You cannot afford to be broke. You can't. You literally can't afford to be broke. It costs you more money to be broke. <laughs> how crazy is that it costs you more freaking money to be broke so get out there get grinding i'm always going to encourage y'all to hustle i'm always going to encourage y'all to grind and uh i want to see things happen for y'all just like things are happening for me as a result of my hard work as a result of me going after it hustling and grinding i want to see that for y'all so uh that's it for now i'll talk to you guys next time